Hello everyone, this is the True 23 Volt, and welcome back for more Fire Emblem The Sacred Stones. And here I am, back at this point again, where I made another stupid mistake. <clears throat> um, pretty much, I failed this chapter. Like an idiot. I don't remember, I don't remember how I failed, I just remember I failed. And I didn't like how I did it. <laughs> so, we're going to redo this chapter, however, I am such a, an idiot that I kind of did something I should not have. Actually, it's okay. Hey, look at this, it's okay. So, <laughs> I take it back. I didn't do anything stupid. I did what I did. It was the right thing to do. And let's get everyone suited up. I actually did not expect uh, this turn of events to happen, actually. All right, so, what do I want to do next? Okay guys, I am back, um, and we're going to redo this chapter from where this point here. Like I said, I've already failed once, that's already a given, um, let's see if I can do this on the second try. Karsina has betrayed Frelia and joined forces with Grado. Oh no! Those dastards. Karsina's troops stopped Prince in as blocking his way to Jahana. Ah oh, crud. With soldiers occupying the road forward and backward, he is trapped in a hopeless situation. Arika's rushes to the Prince aid. The end. See, there wasn't really much that I needed to explain. You wouldn't have missed that much of the scene, just recapping what was happening. But I always feel bad for leaving stuff out. So, back into Grotto Keep. <clears throat> I'm sorry, my throat. Jesus. General Glenn of the Grotto Imperial Army, also known as the Sunstone. Yes. Your orders? Capture the leader of the Rebel Army in Casino. Capture Arika. Arika? Do you mean the Princess of Renios? Arika invaded Carcino. She massacred the citizens of Port Kiris. Then she fled south. Glenn, go crush the rebels who brought ruin to Carcino. Understood, sire. Hey, look, two dragons. Dots. What did the Empire say, brother? I've been ordered to kill the Princess of Renios. Cormac, I want you to remain here in the capital. I'll go alone. If that's what you want, brother, so be it. But you seem troubled. Don't tell me you're concerned about finding the princess of a ruined land. <laughs> I was i never I never was able to pass, slip anything past you, little brother. They know each other so well, you're right, this duty falls heavily on my shoulders more than any other. Tell me, brother, do you know this princess? Yes, when Renios and Grada were still close. I met the girl. I met Rico only once. We spoke briefly, but I felt she was a woman of great kindness. I cannot bring myself to believe Princess Arika is evil. I cannot. Glenn. The Emperor has ordered there's, that's, there's a rub, Gormag, that's it exactly. His Majesty has never spoken a falsehood in all the time I've served him, and as a servant of the Empire I am duty bound to obey his orders, but I can see no reason to think Princess Arika's heart is any less gentle now. And then another dragon comes up. What are these cowardly mutterings? Is it because you three generals are weak that we, we others must work so hard? And yet you get the honor of killing the girl. How I long to, to do your duty for you. Uh, Volta, you retorous swine. What's this? Is that how you speak to, towards your peer knights of the realm? Lest you forget, I too am a general, the same rank as you. You wretch. You will get cast out from the army for mistreating civilians. What, uh, what lies have you told to receive pardon and reinstatement at the same time? Now, beloved Empire, I felt my skills were needed. In these words is law. His Majesty has earned my sincerest and most undying gratitude. And there we have you three, Duso, Selena, and you. The three of you have proven to be unreliable time and time again. You are brought to plug in the holes, don't you see? You ought to thank me, Glenn. Volta, if you would dare insult my brother further. Come now, Cormac, what would you do if you, uh, to me if I did? Would you fight me, here? Would you show your disloyalty to the Emperor? Dots. Peace, Cormac. We are His Majesty's men. We will honor his commands. Mark my words, Volta. Your crimes are neither forgotten nor forgiven. <laughs> and then to Grotto and then to Carcino. Prince Inez, what do you say? Can you continue? Yes, of course. Do you believe this is enough to make me give up? I'm surprised you mercers have not turned and fled, though. No. You see, Gre Gre Garrick, oh, I'll say Grail, I did that in the last time. Garrick's mercenaries take its name from me. Garrick, I'm the chief here. If I quit while our employer still fought on, they would want a new name, you follow me? So, what's the plan? 
Same as before, we remain surrounded. They're not gonna... Uh, no, you're not going to allow us to simply walk out of here. I sent a messenger off with the news of our plight. However, even on the wings of the pegs this night, Fairly is days away. We can expect no help from them. So we're tightening our belts and survives, is that it? Or would you rather quit this place and rest in comfort? Surrender? I am the Prince of Freya. I don't know the meaning of the word. The fate of the world rises on my shoulders, and I will take it to Jahana. Even if I have to crawl there to do it. <laughs> now that makes me feel better. If you're so determined, we may all live a little while longer. Hey, Chief? Prince? What is it, Tethys? I've got bad news. Fed, I've got worse news. What's the bad news? We have no more weapons in reserve. Well, you're holding is what we've got. Once those are gone, there won't be much fine left in us. That is bad news. Well, what's the worst news? They've become smooth. They're going to attack again. Looks like they're setting up the whole lot of them this time. Right. Right. You two, you're done here. Discharge. Fired. Whatever. You can surrender or flee. The choice is yours. What? I'm the one they're after. Throw down your weapons and walk your way alive. Ah, oh, whatever. I don't need you here. You'll only be in my way. Who knows? You filthy sell souls will probably sell me out anyway. Hold on there, that's not true, you know it. Peace, Tethys. Hey Prince, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna get out of here on my own. I'll break to the south and escape into the mountains. That ain't gonna be easy, how do you plan to do that? I'm not telling you, I have no idea when you'll decide to betray me. Go on, get out of here, I'd rather do this alone. Sounds like you're trying to make sure you're the only one who dies. Hmm. <laughs> Fool, I have no intention of dying. But there can be no false hope of reinforcements riding to save the day. You and I are not the same. You're a commoner, and I'm a fairly as hair. Eh, Jesus. We have noble birth. Do not shirk the duties of which I were born. <laughs> what are you waiting for? You may go. Well played, my lord. I've always loved the melodrama of M Martyrdom. There's no way I can abandon you after that fine performance. I'm staying with you, to the end. To the... What are you saying? You dare ignore the orders of the one who's paying your wages? Tethys, I want you to go and surrender. Give me, give my regards to Ewan and now uh, you and Marissa. Don't be ridiculous. I'm not going anywhere. Now, would you two kindly stop acting like such men? And you, you already fired us. You can't order us to what to do. Leave. It's a good point. Unbelievable. And you people call yourselves mercenaries? I thought you fought for money, not for duty. Yeah, that's one of the rules. Guess we're lousy mercenaries, eh? Now let's go. Let's get thinking. We still need a plan to get out of all of this out here alive. I'm supposed to be good at tactician, so I figure I won't be uh, won't die easily. Tell us what to do, Prince. We'll follow your orders. Hmm. <laughs> well, very well. I'll see what I can do to avoid getting us filled with arrows. Uh, see, Prince, if by some miracle aid were to come from what uh, what direction would it come from? From the north. But there's little or no hope for that. Even if Frelia were to send us aid, they would not arrive until. This may be good news. Then again, it may be more bad news. There, on the mount, uh, on the northern mountain path, someone's coming. And it's us! And that wasn't an echo, it was actually me! Shaking. Prince, uh, Prince Inez, Princess Arika. The prince is surrounded by mercenary armies of Carcino. He looks very vastly outnumbered. I doubt he can hold out much longer. I can see that, let's hurry. Alright, so back in the prep screen, be right back for more Fire Emblem Madness! Okay, I'm back, and let's get this over and done with. So welcome to chapter 10, I believe is what we're up to, right? Yeah, chapter 10. Um, as you can see, we have quite a bit of, a, of an issue we have to deal with here. And now our goal is actually up here, so pretty much what we can do is we can send our flying units over um, here and actually take out these units um, quickly, except the problem is there's bows, so you can't really do this unless you know, you grind it to get your units to their maximum levels. We also have the boss, who is Pablo, and he is a Sage, which is the promotional unit of uh, Loot, who is not in this uh, in this uh, level right now. And as you can see, they are pretty all around, and they have a crazy. He has a crazy amount of resistance, so be careful with him. Uh, as for other units, there is like a ton, like many. <laughs> I don't want to. I, I can't think of the word right now because of how many there are. But, uh, we're going to worry about that later. Uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we are outside of the mage's range. You might be thinking, uh, thinking why? Well, not only is the, uh, the fact that um, my units can't exactly take magical attacks, because I don't have any magical units. Um, I also, uh, they'll actually attack Inez. 
And Inez, even though he's a promoted unit, he can actually take those hits like a boss, so you don't need to worry about him, he'll be fine. Alright, so, first things first, we want Tana, oh yes, uh, the, the, what I'm doing here with Tana and Vanessa, um, Tana is actually one of the units who can recruit Inez, I, I believe you can also recruit him with any, any Frelian unit, and Arika. So, yeah, those are all the units that you can uh, rec uh, uh, have a um, uh, thing be recruited with. Uh, but what am I doing here? I'm trying to... Alright, okay. Alright, 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 alright. Okay, have you... Wait, is that safe? Yeah, it's safe. I don't want to put Amelia into death zone immediately. That would suck. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, you know it's end. <laughs> ah, excuse me. Uh, also, as you can see, um, on the bottom right of the screen, well, somewhat bottom right between the Merc and the Myrmidon, there is an arena. This is also another place where you can do arena abuse, except you got to keep in mind that there are no shops here. So, you, you, if you go into arena abuse now and get a lot of money as well as uh, experience, uh, you're going to need to buy a lot of heals beforehand. Anyway, Lord Glimp, published troops are moving towards the stronghold. It looks like they're planning on chasing Prince Inez and his men. Pablo, you bad and reckless imbecile! If Prince Inez dies here, the bond between Carcino and Frelia is sundered forever! Carcino will be nothing more than a vassal playing tribute to Grado. We must find a way to, to aid Prince Inez. Wait, my lord, Clement. Pablo is after you as well. If you revealed yourself here... Uh, may fortune keep you safe, Prince Inez. <laughs> it's like, he ditched us. What a turd. Anyway. Yeah! Look at that stab in the face. Okay, well, this part isn't too dangerous. It's the, uh, yeah, it's the whole swarming of units it's, which really bothers me. Oh, you can reach Ross? Oh, okay. I don't, I'm surprised he didn't go for a thing, though. Amazing. Alright, so yeah. <laughs> Here's Inez. Now, I haven't mentioned Inez's class yet, nor the other two units down there, but I will the moment I recruit them. So do not worry. Hopefully I remember to do that. Alright, so now that the magic units are out of the way, they're not that much of an issue now. Okay, I wanted him to go for Calm, because he's stupid. And he'll go for whichever unit he thinks he can do the most damage to, which is true. Alright, so we're going to get constant reinforcements of uh, bandits from the right end, and they're not really going to do much except try to kill us. Alright, now this is a problem. Oh, I remember what happens here. Do you miss? This chick better not miss. Okay, good. This kill is going directly to Vanessa. Last time when I did this chapter, she missed and almost gave me a heart attack because um, Vanessa was a just able to kill this guy even with a slim land, so it's all good. All right, so both Pegasi are doing great. Next, we're going to attempt to kill him. Who can I give this kill to? Oh, we'll see. Ha! Whoa! <laughs> I gave the wrong kill to this unit. Not my problem. Alright, so I believe you are holding a iron sword, you are holding an iron sword. So Gilliam is fine. Absolutely fine. Alright. Can I kill you? Aww. Aww. <laughs> Dang it. Ah, they're too fast. That's fine. I can figure a way out of this. Bum, bum, ba, da, 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 da. Can I kill you? Oh man. Um, let's do this. Uh, hatchet. All right. All right. So we're gonna hit the hatchet. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all are right. Yeah, I got him! <laughs> the only reason I did that is because Garcia needs experience, so... <laughs> I'll take it. Alright, now Mulder's gonna do a healing. 
Even though it's only three, he gets the experience, so where's the loss? Nowhere. Yeah. Can you kill him? No, you can't. Hmm. Oh, damn it. <laughs> damn it, you need me. You and Coleman just too good. I wanted to weaken him to give the kill to Amelia, but that did not work. So, oh, we'll bring out the steel. All right, and I think I'm happy with this formation. All right, take the hit. Yeah, good job. Okay, so Franz is doing fine. He's getting double teamed. Not a worry to me though. Expected as much. Level up for Franz. First level up of the chapter. Yeah, very Myrmidon-like level up, but that's okay. Franz is the speedy guy, so it's OG. Alright, so. Units keep moving. Other phase. Here we go. Here goes Garrick. Oh, I should mention Garrick's a boss. He's so good. And that's only just the beginning of what he can do. Then there's Inez, who's also an amazing unit. If you're lucky. Alright, so. After all that, but can I actually recruit? No, oh, I can't reach with Vanessa. That's fine. I'll recruit with uh, Thing instead. So let's have Tana talk. Brother! Tana? Uh, what, uh, what, uh, what are you doing here? I came to Rika. Wait here, brother. It's my turn to protect you. Stop playing the soldier, Tana. You will return to the palace at once. I will not. Rika and from and you are all risking so much. I can't sit at home and watch. I have to do something to help. Tana. We'll talk about this later. For now, we join forces with the Rika. Thank you, brother. Alright, so there we go. Town is all happy, happy, happy. Yay. Uh, next we're going to... What am I going to do? I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, was I going to... What would be best if I talk to you... Hmm. Talk to Tethys. Have Tethys talk, give Ines a dance, and then have Ines talk to Garrick. How did I do this last time? God dang it. Um, okay, we'll just do this. Reinforcements have arrived, Garrick. Fuck yeah, sir. Good thing we held out as long as we did. You only war <laughs> you only killed two units. Good job, guys. That was your doing. Thank you. Don't let your guard down now, Prince. There are still enemies to fight, and it'd be such a shame to die now. I agree completely. Let's go. All oh, right, I can't exactly move up. All right, so the moment I recruit Tethys, I'm going to talk about all three. So, hey Tethys, looks like help is on the way. Really? Perhaps faith is a good thing. I haven't had much before, but perhaps good, good things do happen to those people. Uh, good things. I like the sound of that. What do you suppose might come our way? <laughs> I wonder. Alright, so Garrick's a ladies' man, ladies and gentlemen. So, first let's talk about Inez. He is the Prince of Frother. He's brash and arrogant, but good at heart. His class is the Sniper, or the promoted units of Archers, I should say. Uh, archers of unparalleled accuracy. They equip bows and they gain the sh skill Sure Strike, which when it activates, it will never miss. So it's a non-missing skill, which is very weird for a Sniper to have, considering they'll never miss. But it's very annoying when an enemy sniper gets it, because they tend to have really crappy hit rates, and when that happens, it, they'll kill you. Anyway, he's already an A in bows, which is very useful. He also holds a white gem, which we can sell for a good amount of cash. And uh, yeah, that's Inez. Uh, Stats-wise, very all-around. I actually have not used a Inez uh, my entire life, I think. I mean, I may have used them once or twice, but I vaguely remember how well he went because that's when I was young. I always found Mimi being much more <laughs> better than uh, Inez, but that's uh, that's a debatable. That's very debatable. Then we have Garrick. 
Now, Garrick is a mercenary. Uh, mercenary leader from Jah uh, Jahana, he's better known as the Desert Tiger. Well-balanced professional soldiers for hire, they equipped only swords. You get him at level 10, he's already hurt. And he comes with a hero crest. Now you can actually, oh, voice crack, you can actually uh, promote Garrick into another class immediately and he'll still be really good. Uh, honestly, Garrick, if you get him to level 20 and then class him up then, he will be such a great help to your team. I mean, look at those stats. Those are amazing. And he, and he actually ends up being a great unit all around. So there, that's Garrick, ladies and gentlemen. And now we have Tethys, who is a very interesting unit. A beautiful and charming dance from Jahana. Dancers who... <laughs> dancers who dance... Whose dancers, sorry. Revitalize their allies, but they cannot attack. Uh, you get her at level 1, and she can't exactly promote to a different class. However, as you can see, she can't attack, that's why there's like barely any skill, uh, strength or skill. But, she will get a lot of uh, speed and luck, which will increase her avoid tremendously. Uh, and she, I think she gets a lot of resistance. She, don't, she tends not to get much defense or HP, because, you know, they're not supposed to be used in combat, so they, um, you know, it's not their, their thing. What they are used for, though, is to do this. Sorry I was playing for like three minutes there, but oh well. Welcome to the True 26 Volts channel. Um, yes, uh, basically what she can does is she can give a unit another attack, or another round, not another attack. You can use the, you can use the uh, turn to give a unit another attack, but I think it's better to just, yeah, to either do a good attack uh, heal and then rescue a runaway. Very useful with uh, Cavalier units, like a good hit and run tactic. Um, so Vanessa's also here. Alright, so, how am I gonna do this? Uh, oh, Franz misses! Franz misses! Ouch! That wasn't good. That was actually a very bad showing, dude. Alright, give him guns for the kill. Yeah, that's how you do it. Well done. Gets a level up for himself. Ah, god. <laughs> ah, ah. Really, man? A skill level up? Ugly. Alright, uh, oh, you can range me? That bum ass can range me. I don't know what what one is a bum ass, but whatever. Oh, I don't want to do that. Oh no! What am I doing? This is actually a very bad idea. Can I rescue you? Oh my god! I can't rescue. You. Thing. Wait. Can I? Please tell me I can. Oh gods, I can. Thank you, Mortal, for being such a tank. Please hit. This is why my Ross is so amazing. He can hit a Merc with a hatchet. How good is your skill? You're pretty good. <laughs> I like it. Alright, so now we're going to rescue Ross. And get the kill with Mimi. Beautiful. She gets a level up, a very good level up, I like it, 4 stats, it's good, it's good. Alright, we're going to move you up just to prepare yourself for this Slim Lance guy down here. And we're going to end it. Hey, you're up. You're getting paid a lot more than us common soldiers. Time to earn your gold. I hear you. Where do I start the killing? The, that way, the Frillian troops. Don't put that blade in our direction. I'll do what I can, no promises. Good day. Whew. So that's Marissa, the Crimson Flash of Garrick's Mercenaries? She's a beauty. I'll keep my distance and keep my head. I wish I could recruit that guy. He seems nice. Okay, but... Nice guys come later. For now, we have Mr. Uh, Sol uh, Cell Sword over here who's beating the heck out of me. And you know what's happening, guys? I'm actually going to get something really nice. Because this guy's using a hand axe. Because he's using a hand axe. 
Alright. But before I continue. Alright. Um. Dun 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 dun. Alright. Uh. Yeah, let's do this. Bam! And bam. Oh my lord! <laughs> That isn't good. Inez missed. Inez actually missed. Do I dare say it? Miss! Da -da 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 -da. Damn it. It's okay. And lame. Oh, well, I'll do what I can. Kill him! Oh well, I'm lucky that Garrick's so awesome. I have nothing to worry about with this guy. Alright. You can't exactly make it to me. Uh, what are you? Oh, you're not any better. Um, well, that guy can hit me from a range, and I don't like that. Eh, sure. Are you serious? Are you serious, woman? Oh! <laughs> Vanessa, you're getting out of here. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, frickin' hell. <laughs> Be right back, guys. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, guys, I am back. And as you can see, the enemy has now changed their pattern. Uh, this is the attempt after it, of course, and uh, this guy decided, or one of these two guys, decided not to go here, but went up this way. Well, I don't know why. I'm not complaining. Now, let's just hope to God that this guy doesn't miss. Okay, good. Alright, I know you're not going to get much experience, but I wasn't expecting you to get any. Like, that was not supposed to happen what just happened a while back. That was just dumb. Alright, that guy's got a hand axe. I don't like that. So, let's just kill him. Also, as you can see, Garrick is actually not hurt because uh, he actually got a crit on that one soldier. Which actually now gives him some more breathing room. Oh, and I'm healing. Oh. Careless mistakes like this is just the reason why. Oh man, I'm just dumb. Alright, well, fortunately, this kill does not go to Inez anymore. Oh, thing anymore. Not that it could have in the first place. Actually, no, it still could. Uh, can I do this somehow? Can I kill you? Oh man, I'm so close. Uh. Oh man. How about you? Oh, you can't even double the guy. All right. Uh, um. Can I kill this guy up here? I can, in fact. Um, let's, pro uh, let's just kill this guy first, it seems. It seems like the smart choice. Okay, so, so far so good. Alright, what's our next objective? Ah yes, these units here. How did you hit me? That's dumb. Alright, you need a kill, so I need you to kill this guy. Fourteen damage, huh? I'm sure Franz with an iron sword can deal that much. Okay. Whoa! Yeah! Alright, Franzy boy! Getting the exp. Loses the iron sword though, where? Yeah. 
I'm probably making this this game much harder for myself by using so many units, but oh well. I think I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay. <laughs> oh, got the killer axe out of that, and with uh, Garcia, <laughs> prepare yourself. Um, next we'll probably want to get this kill with. Oh, I can get this kill with a. Never mind, she's too far out. Damn it. Uh, yeah, probably get it with Gilliam. Wait, can I? Uh, why do these guys hold slim swords? That's just dumb. Sure, they'll hit every time, but they're not going to do anything. What they expect me to do? Bring axe users? Oh wait, I brought two. <laughs> not that like they're weak or anything. I should put Gilliam. Uh. Franz and another unit up in the front lines, and I'm should be good. <laughs> you know who I'll put in front? Ross! Because he seems like a potent unit to be in a wall. He can be a wall. He's actually, I think he's a, he was a wall-like unit um, back in another file I had, but that was then, this is now. So, what the hell else have I Ah, my pegs are. Right. Um, can I? Hey, look at that! Oh wait, no. Um, actually, I know. I need I need their assistance down here. So let's bring him closer to the action. 